And then just click on them all. Look, click, 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 click. And then click on as many of them as you want to have a look at. And you may be saying, what the hell would I, I can't look at all of those. No, then you go and blank out all of them except one. You blank out all of them except one. And what you do is you go through each of them in turn, looking to see if they provide you with the same order blocks that you've drawn on your screens. Okay? So you're blanking out every single order block bar one. And then when you go into your order blocks, you can just go one at a time, look. So you can go one at a time and you can see whether these order blocks allow something of interest in terms of trade ideas. You can work your way through these. So you could look, look at the next one. And this one's all over the place. So you could just say, well, you know what? I'm deleting that one. The next one. You can see where the order blocks are. You can go through the next one. You can see where the order blocks are. It obviously clears all the previous order blocks that have been taken out. So you can see some of those ideas. It's whether you like that or not, it's up to you. It's a choice, right? It's just not to say that this is the best one or the worst one, but there's another one. There's another one. So you just work your way through these order block ideas. And if you like them, keep them on the charts. If you don't like them, Ditch them, but don't have too many of them because you'll end up with stuff that you simply think, what the hell, what the hell is that blue line down here? Some sort of 31 and a half. I hope the S&P is not going to be trading there today. So if you're obviously on a chart like that, you're going to have to zoom back in so you can see what the hell this one looks like when you zoom back into the charts. You can see this order block ends up as a series of rather random looking crappy lines. So we'll get rid of that one. That's absolute rubbish. Uh, let's take a look at this one. It's in Arabic, so I've no idea what it says. So I'll get rid of that one. Uh, let's look at this one. That hasn't got anything. Well, no, it does have stuff on it. It's very faint. So you can see that that has some very faint little order blocks on it. You can see some of those order blocks as we've just been discussing. It doesn't give us any buy order blocks. Interesting. But it is very faint. We've got this one, which has one line on it, but miles away from price, so we'll get rid of that one. This one here. No idea what that's looking for. It's obviously uh, putting a stop run into an area. So it's looking at where there might be an order block buyer and looking at where it, there might be an order block seller. So that's obviously a forecast order block, isn't it? That's obviously forecasting order blocks rather than showing order blocks. Then we've got this one. God knows what that is, so we'll get rid of that. And then we've got this one. There you go, guys. So you just muck about with it. You just look at this is the whole point of trading view. It gives you the opportunity to do this type of stuff. Find things that you like, find things that represent the type of trades you're looking for, and use them. Use them.